All right, as you can see, we have this beautiful floor plan. However, there is a huge problem with it. And that's because when I zoom into a specific area, let's say this bedroom, the text says the bedroom is 12 feet and three inches wide. However, if I type DI in the command bar and then just check the dimensions of the same bedroom that says the distance between those two points, that's just three feet. That means something's wrong with it. You can also confirm that by annotated in the dimensions panel and then linear and let's click or you can say specify two points. Okay, that's three feet and one inches. Something really wrong with the floor plan. So how can we fix it? It means someone has scaled the same drawing. Okay, we can fix it by just looking into a reference. Okay, let's say we have multiple options over here. This bedroom can be referenced. These dimensions can be referenced. Okay, you can find any reference does not matter. What we're going to do is just to draw a line. Okay. But before that, let's type UN in the command bar to check our dimensions. That's okay. We are happy with the architectural and then apply your okay. Now let's type L in the command bar and let's specify the first point. For the next point, let's provide 12 feet and three inches because that's just the width of the bedroom because that's our reference, okay? And then press enter and enter again to end the command. As you can see this line, that's actually now, let's confirm it, okay? We have 12 feet and three inches, that's okay. Okay, now we're gonna select all this floor plan, okay? All the objects associated with the floor plan and then type AL in the command bar and then press enter. AL for the align, okay? Now, let's specify the first source point. That's our bedroom and let's click this corner and we will just specify the destination point is the start of this line, okay? Which is 12 feet and three inches. Click over there and now we are asked to specify the second source point. Of course, this corner and actually the end of the line, okay? That's our second destination point. When you are done, as you can see, the AutoCAD is asking to specify the third source point. We don't have a third source point, does not matter because this floor plan is just 2D, okay? We will just press enter. Now, as you can see, it's asking if you want to scale the objects based on the alignment. Yes, of course, I want to scale. I can right click and then click, or you can say, you can also type Y in the command bar. I'll click yes, and that's done, okay? We are happy with the work. We can just delete this line or dimensions you can say. Now let's confirm by going to the inner head and then dimensions panel and then let's click dimensions linear, okay? Now let's confirm these two points. That's pretty good. As you can see, 12 feet and three inches. Pretty amazing, okay? Everything is pretty cool. As you can see, let's confirm this one as well, okay? It does not matter. That's actually four feet and three inches. That means this thing, these dimensions are wrong, okay? Okay, as you can see, this is four feet and three inches. As you can see, that's okay, okay? All right, it means something's wrong over here. This is not five, this must be four. Okay, that's good. This is how we can align and scale our floor plans which are been scaled.